The loss of amphibians in general and the loss of salamanders in particular is a, is a huge concern. Um, of course, we all love amphibians, right? They're cute, they're beautiful, they're, they're pretty spectacular in terms of, of their biology. But they're also important because of lots of different things that they provide both to us, humans, but also to their environments and other species. The original fungus, BD, affects all amphibians. And there's sort of three types of, of amphibians. There's frogs and toads, there's salamanders, and then there's Sicilians. Lots of different groups of scientists all around the world have been trying to figure out what was the cause of these declines. When they discovered this fungus, then it became an issue of how does it work? How does it get around? Where did it come from? Um, and describing the, the impact that that original fungus, BD we call it, um, had on amphibians all around the world. And so people saw mass die-offs. They saw species completely disappear from pristine areas. They saw dead and dying frogs. And then about two years ago, a group of Europeans discovered a second species of this type of fungus. Um, the, the, the big difference is that instead of infecting all amphibians, like the first BD fungus did, uh, this new fungus, B. sal we call it, um, so far as we know only affects salamanders. And this is a huge problem for those of us who live in North America because we have the world's greatest biodiversity of salamanders. We have more species, more families of salamanders than any other place in the world. And we're lucky in that, what, based on our survey so far, nobody has found B. sal here in North America. Amphibians are really important in their ecosystems. Because if you think about frogs and salamanders, they're, they're, they're usually pretty abundant um, where you find them. And they're, they're kind of in a small size range, which means in that they're sort of at this intermediate position in a food web, in a forest, the food web of a pond or a lake or a stream. Because you have not only the adult salamanders and frogs, but you also have the larvae. And so they also not only form sort of this intermediate position where they're food for all the mammals and the birds and the snakes and the reptiles, but they also are huge predators on all the insects, both on land and in the water.